Hi guys, welcome back with me, David Tiabudi, on this great spaceship tutorial part 2. As you see, we are going to create in this second part as Now, this is our script. Later on, I will explain to you one by one. And as you see, this one having a, a variable for Spaceship X and Spaceship Y. When you move left, you move right. The coordinate, the coordinate always been tracked in this one, X and Y. And spacebar press means when you are pressing spacebar, I'm pressing it down, guys. I'm still pressing it down. It's still one. You need to unclick it and then you click it again. Okay? So it means when you want to shoot a lot, you need to press. You need to press it with speed. You need to press your keyboard spacebar many times. Okay? Now let's start from our previous save game. As you see, previously I already saved this game creation with David Stiabudi tutorial 1. Now, as I want to start, I always started with saving it. File, save to your computer. You see this one? I'm saving with David Stiabudi tutorial 2. Okay. That one is to ensure that I don't replace my save game, okay? My previous project. If anything goes wrong, I can still load the previous one. Okay, now, this time, as you see, the spaceship is getting, is too big at this game, at this stage. So I want to make it smaller. How to make it smaller? So you go here at the looks. You see? You go to the looks here and change size or set size by how many percentage. So here I'm going to change it as 30%. Okay, I'm going to change it into 30%. Uh, okay. I'm putting it top at the top. So changing it into 30%. You see? Now it's really small. Okay? Smaller. And then when I press spacebar, of course it's not shooting yet because you haven't created the script. But Mr. David, I want to make the bullet and shoot. Yes, you need to be patient. You need to put the script first. And of course, you need to put the bullet, okay? The picture here. You need to put another actor here, which is the bullet. Okay? Now, you go here and put the bullet. Upload sprite and get the bullet. See, this one is a laser ball. Okay, laser ball. It's not the sun, guys. It's not the sun. You see the script here. When I press this one, it's the script of the spaceship. When I press here, no script. I press here, that's the script. No script, that's the script, no script. Now, we need to create this one. You see, I click here, I can put it there. This is not the sun. Okay, you don't want to make this one as a big bullet. Here, you see? Bam, bam, every every enemy dead. Okay. But then I'm going to make this one as a smaller bullet. And then, as usual, I'm going to put this one when the flag is clicked. And I will put this one 
looks the size set the set size to 10 percent okay play you see it's small it's really small now guys this one is the bullet okay when I move left and I move right okay the bullet is always taste there I want the bullet to follow me okay so let's say I'm going to start the bullet in my tummy okay at this tummy at this stomach of the spaceship and then it bursts out going out here to the top here okay but then we need to make this bullet stick on the spaceship how to do that okay first of all we go to the spaceship okay go to the spaceship first and then what we do is making variable make a variable which name is we need to track the coordinate guys space ship x okay this one is spaceship x you see spaceship x and then we need to make another one which is spaceship y spaceship x and y now this one is considered zero for the first time okay and here I put the spaceship here okay at the I think I'm going to put it at the animation okay at the animation I'm going to track down actually you can put it in the controller okay or you can put it here you can put it here but it will be crowd too crowded I want at the first time it's just animation and the controller so I'm I'm choosing to put it here at the animation because every time it animates I'm going to track what is the X and Y of the spaceship okay spaceship X and then spaceship Y it's always zero okay but if you want to make a change you want to track let's say uh, the spaceship is going to the left this one the X and Y will tell okay you are in this position X and Y okay you see when I change this one you see the X and Y of the spaceship is changing okay see this one guys it's always changing so I want to put this one into the variable I want to track it down so here you can go to the motion because this one is moving left and right it's a motion it's not looks it's a motion okay not looks you put here what you put here is the X tracking the X and tracking the Y so the X position will be recorded in the spaceship X this one guys you see this one too the Y position is tracked by the spaceship Y so when you go here so the X and Y is always being tracked down okay now what we are going to do next after the X and Y is tracked down now when I want to press space bar okay here I say I'm pressing space bar I want this bullet he to be here when I press here the bullet is here so every time the bullet always follows me then we need to create the clone for this bullet because I want to shoot a lot of bullet not just one okay not just one I'm too greedy okay with one bullet no I want to make a lot of bullets so here you press a space bar right you are going to press a space bar here and then 
the bullet is there it's on the coordinate of the spaceship so what we are going to do here is putting another if under here under the controller press up press down press left press right and press space bar of course okay you put it here and then key space I mean this one is a space bar if the key space bar is pressed what you'll do okay you create a clone okay create a clone where's the clone oh here it is create a clone of myself is it okay let's try woohoo create a clone of myself whoa ninjutsu okay not like this guys of course you're not create a clone of yourself but you are cre creating a clone of the laser ball okay creating a clone of razor ball but where actually when you create a, la a lot of laser ball actually this one you see is getting larger it means you see you are creating creating a clone of laser ball in this coordinate it's not inside of the spaceship okay so what we we'll, what we will do is putting the forever here you see it's there yeah but you want it to move up forever it reaches up and up and up it moves up so it means forever when I start as clone you start at the this one the X and Y you start here and then it goes forever up going up how to make it going up yes correct you move 10 steps oh oh wow oh wow oh wow oh wow it's moving to the right so we need to change the direction okay point the direction into going up not going right so let's test it out woohoo you see the bullet stocks in the ceiling okay the bullet stocks in the ceiling so actually what we want to do is when the bullet reaches at the ceiling you want to make it gone you don't want to make it stuck forever in the ceiling What you do is going to the sounds here, okay? At the sound here, you choose a sound, okay? We are not going to use the sound from this upload the sound, okay? But I will use it for another sound effects later on, but you need to learn all of this, okay? Now for this first part, we are going to use another one, which is choose a sound. Now we are going to choose, uh, which one, let's see. Okay, we can try one by one you can choose this one okay but let me choose another there's so much of sound I, I'm so confused to choose 
which one so for shooting I just go to the effect okay this one is categorized this one is all of course you don't shoot using email okay I'm going to choose from this one I'm choosing this one okay so you here you see the sound it's pew 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 okay you can edit this sound let's say you want to make it faster okay you want to make it slower okay but I'll just make it original just go to the effects and I'm choosing the pew 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 where's the pew p p p where's the pew okay p one more okay choosing this one okay I'll just use this one and you go to this one and you see the code here okay when the key space is pressed okay you start to create a clone of the laser ball but before that you need to put a sound and play sound pew I'm not choosing this one guys because this one will play like if you choose like that one can you feel the lagging okay because when you play sound pew until done it means you must wait until the sound is done and then you can move but if you don't want it to be lagging you can just play this one play sound pew okay it doesn't interfere with your movement okay so that's the end of part two and don't forget to save the file save to your computer and then save as this one the second one David Stiabudi tutorial 2 and you can use your name of course don't use mine okay save it done if you forget to save it then it will be a fatal one bye bye